Welcome my friends to yet another Roland Rambles. Today I want to talk about the recent Brian Lunduke article, call, or video rather, called the Did the Internet Archive Hack Itself? And I thought that this was actually a very interesting video because the more I think about it, especially given some of the points he brought up, the more it seems like the Internet Archive hack really does seem like it could be an inside job. Now, I want you to think about this. The Internet Archive indiscriminately archives every website it can get its greedy little web spidery hands on, which is why we love it, because if something goes poof, we can go to web.archive.org and pull up the poof and show that it really did exist back in the day. The Internet Archive actually does a very, very important function. Now, I have not covered the Internet Archive in rambles despite people suggesting and even <laughs> practically screaming from the rooftops, especially my Telegram. If you're not in my Telegram chat, why aren't you? But in my Telegram group, uh, people have been telling me to cover this, and I didn't want to because the problem is a billion people have covered it immediately and given 20-minute videos of their thoughts on the subject, and I, I don't really care. Like. As things develop in the early days, nothing really matters. But we've gotten to a point where something has come up that I think does matter. <clears throat> Let's think about what the Internet Archive does. If it just grabs stuff up indiscriminately, but the Internet Archive allows you to ask them to remove stuff, there will be a lot of people asking the Internet Archive to de-archive their website. You know, I can understand that perhaps you took a website down for a reason and you don't really want it to be on the Internet Archive. There are re legitimate reasons to not want your junk archived. Maybe you had pictures of your kids up there and you don't want your kids to be all up in the Internet Archive where anybody can just go grab a picture of your children. At the same time, maybe you're a politician and there's a website that uh, had a bunch of information about you or what you did that you control that now it looks bad on you and you've asked to have that removed. Maybe there's a government website that has sensitive information open to the public when it shouldn't have been and now they asked for that to be removed. While the hack may not contain the information that was removed, the hack will contain the fact that they asked for that information to be removed, uh, including, <laughs> including the information that they provided to get that removed, which may be leaky. See, if you just say, I would like for you to de-archive herpaderp.org, that's one thing. But if you go, um, I am outraged that pictures of uh, things that I was doing with my children that are questionable are on there, and I would like you to remove it. Well, those are very different things. That's you basically admitting that at some point, pictures of you with your children doing things that maybe are too suggestive, were posted to the internet publicly. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that's probably not something that the, the powerful elite class want to have going on. So this, this sort of comes back to the hack. Like, how does this benefit anyone? Because you always have to ask with anything that happens, who benefits? How do they benefit? How does it fit with the way that they did it? Now, Let's go back to the Internet Archive hack. There are several aspects to it, but the most interesting to me is that a hacker group, supposedly there are two hacker groups that did two separate hacks. One of them was just in there and didn't really do anything, and the other went in there and did do something, but I don't know the details, but one of these hacker groups defaced the website after the Internet Archive did nothing about hacks they were told were in place. Like, they were given the information and they did nothing. Now, <clears throat> Lunduk goes over a lot of this stuff. But, in a nutshell, the Internet Archive has been on the losing end of several copyright lawsuits from major publishers, forcing them to remove over a million books already and probably going to bankrupt the whole thing. So, let's think about this for just a second. Let's apply a little Sun Tzu's The Art of War thinking to this. You're the Internet Archive, a nonprofit organization. You've been distributing probably tens to hundreds of millions of copyrighted works. The law allows for up to $150,000 per infringement as a penalty for copyright violation. You've been losing like hell in appellate courts just 
like credit, hand over fist cannot stop losing lawsuits related to copyright. And every loss could constitute a massive amount of infringements. That's a lot of $150,000 increments. You cannot possibly pay this off. Lunduke went over all of that. Now here's what the angle that I'm adding to this that I think makes it far more interesting because he didn't go this far, and I know he didn't go this far because it really is speculative, but I'm willing to go there. I think that what has happened is the Internet Archive realizes that they are so screwed that they may as well be a whorehouse serving a politician for free. They may as well be an island full of children with politicians flying there. That's how screwed they are. So, the Internet Archive, seeing no alternative seeing that they are doomed in court because of the way copyright law and lawsuits work, uh, that they are guaranteed to shut down, um, they have nothing left to lose. The Internet Archive will die. It is only a matter of time because there is no way for the Internet Archive to win these lawsuits in court. In court, and that's the key. I think what's happening now is the Internet Archive is going slack because they are dropping a WikiLeaks-style nuclear bomb on politicians and other high-profile, um, you know, figures that have a lot to cover up and have a lot to lose if certain information becomes free as all information wants to be. So I think the Internet Archive has very smartly, and in fact, if I was running the Internet Archive and in this lose-lose position myself, I would probably deploy a very similar tactic. The Internet Archive is basically threatening every single prominent individual that has scuttled information and that has connections. They are now all threatened by the release of all of the information that they have put into the Internet Archive as far as like, hey, I want you to remove this information that could be bad for me. I any strings that they've pulled to have information removed, the removal information might now get out. You might now find out that, I don't know, let's just make up something that like George W. Bush um, uh, asked the Internet Archive using tons of political pressure to de-archive uh, um, a scientific report that said that jet fuel can, in fact, melt steel beams. Now, th this is obviously a joke, but I think it illustrates the example very well. It's a politician covering up information that makes that politician, uh, or, or things that happened during that politician's reign of control, look far more questionable. And because it's coming from a leaked uh, piece of information that... Um, that can be authenticated back to the Internet Archive, you know, it, it's a trustworthy source, so people are going to believe it. You know, heuristically, people are just going to believe it. It is very trustworthy. And what are you going to do if you're a prominent politician and a scandal leaks out because the Internet Archive's um, removal records were leaked? You see where this is going. Really powerful people don't like the fact that they boned uh, miners, so to speak, to get out into the public. They don't like information that could lead to the conviction of them um, uh, boinking the booties of bebes uh, getting out into the wild. So, the Internet Archive has taken all of this information that they've been forced, coerced, asked, whatever, to scuttle and applied universal, uniform pressure to everybody that's ever asked the Archive to stop doing what it does for that information that makes them look bad. Now, every politician that has something to hide is going to go through their connections, go through their backroom deals, their closed-door meetings, which, by the way, my political position is no politician should be allowed to have closed-door backroom meetings and deals. Everything that a politician does in a remotely official capacity should be publicly available um, because they are public officials. But I digress. <clears throat> now you have politicians who are standing to lose a ton.
potentially fall from grace and even get imprisoned over things that they've asked to have removed from the Internet Archive. Well, why did you ask for that to be removed? Well, what was it? You know, and maybe the Internet Archive only removes it from visibility and the information's still there. If the information's there and the right people are made aware that it was removed, the information can be subpoenaed. The information can be retrieved in some capacity or another. And if that happens, politicians and other powerful people may be very, very screwed if the Internet Archive loses this lawsuit. Um, basically, what I see happening is the Internet Archive either allowed or potentially, and this is very like theory level stuff, potentially even hired or tipped off or whatever, potentially, I have no substantiation for this, legal disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm talking about, but imagine if you will, you run the Internet Archive, you know that you're screwed legally, so the only way to win is to go outside of the system and apply pressure from external forces that the Internet Archive doesn't have connections like that. If nothing else, they're asked to dump stuff so that there are no connections like that. <clears throat> and you can't just like threaten politicians or whoever. Um, so because you have no power, what do you do? Well, you need some leverage. So you hire a hacker gang or you tip off a hacker gang, work with the hacker gang, whatever. You say, look, billions of web pages across 30 years of internet history are gonna be lost if we really lose these lawsuits. We need your help. We need you to fuck us over. We need you to royally screw the Internet Archive over in the public's eye so that these politicians think all the information is going to leak out about everything they've done so they're motivated to use their extrajudicial power to fix the problem for us. And that's what I think is really going on with the Internet Archive today. I think the Internet Archive hacks were not really hacks. I think that they probably were, if not actively encouraged and assisted by Internet Archive people, at a minimum, surely they allowed it to happen because nobody, and I mean nobody, after being informed of a significant breach with proof, running any organization of any size takes no action unless there is a reason for it. And what's a better reason than we are about to have our asses handed to us in copyright court. You need, uh, if you don't want all your information that could get you thrown in jail, have your, you know, your family's bail on you, lose all your connections, lose all your prestige, fall from grace, you know, go through a trial, whatever. If you don't want to lose everything, big guy with a whole lot to lose and a lot of connections, you better employ your connections to help us out. Because if you don't employ your connections to help us out, well then, uh, hackers have gotten into our systems and I guess we'll just, you know, all that stuff will just kind of go, you know? Oh well, uh, you know, if we lose this lawsuit, if we really get ordered to effectively shut down because of the fact that we don't have the resources to pay up for all this copyright infringement, if you make it so that we die, we take you with us. Do you really think that the same people who would fly out to Lolita Island, Epstein's Island, do you really think the same people who had uh, child harems on Man of Isle in uh, the United Kingdom, do you really think that these same politicians and rich, powerful people who are so rich and powerful that they do nasty things to minors just because they can are actually going to stand by and be like, oh yeah, I'll just let all that information slip. I'll just let the flight logs drop. You know, no, no, not a chance in hell. I think that what's going on with the Internet Archive is intentional, and I think that there is some extremely big brain thinking behind it, because if you really think about it, what else do they, what can they do? What other options do they have? They basically have no other choice but to die. 30 plus years of internet history completely down the tubes because of some book publishers or whatever that are mad because their copyrighted media is on there. <clears throat> I think what's going to happen, you will see the internet archive. Suddenly these lawsuits will be settled out of court for an undisclosed amount under undisclosed terms. 
And the Internet Archive will remove some of the more financially lucrative um, portions of these publishers' media libraries, and the less financially lucrative stuff will stay up so that there's plausible deniability. Oh, well, uh, us at, um, I, I don't know, what what is it, uh, Warner or UMG, or I don't know, I can't remember all the names of the music groups or the media groups or whatever, but uh, it wasn't us. It's not our fault that they did that. They chose to do that during the settlement. They, they, we didn't screw over the 30-plus years archive of the Internet that millions of people use on a daily basis. That wasn't us. I guarantee you they come to some sort of backroom deal with these people that are suing them. <clears throat> and the people that are suing them agree to bully other people that might sue them into not suing them because politicians that would be screwed by them being sued, catching fire, dying, and thus a hacker group exposing everything. You, you see where this is going. It is a mildly elaborate theory, um, but I don't think that it's even really appropriate to consider it a conspiracy theory. I mean, at this point, you have a, a large organization <clears throat> that is several decades old that, in theory, really knows what they're doing. They have a lot of experience at what they do, and, oh, they get breached and they do nothing? Doesn't make sense. They get breached again and still do nothing? Doesn't make sense. They get taken down and they take forever to bring it all back up? It doesn't make sense. Why would a hacker group be like, hey, there's this website that tells you if your email address or other private information shows up in a data leak? Uh, we'll see you on that website. Like, why would they do that? It, it almost sounds benevolent. And that's the thing that really struck me the first time that all of this went down. <clears throat> this hacker group referencing Have I Been Pwned, or H-I-B-P as they abbreviate it, the website where you can key in your email address and find out if it's been involved in any of these major privacy leaks or data leaks, you know, over the years, <clears throat> why would the hackers do that? Like, okay, it's plausible that a hacker group would be like, ha-ha, see you on HIBP, you losers. But why would they do that? Why would they be so kind as to just deface the website, tell you where you can find out where all your email addresses have been leaked, basically doing a public service, you know, it, it's these are the nicest hackers I think I've ever heard of in my entire life. And then, of course, they say some sort of stuff like, you know, free Palestine, blah, blah, blah. And I just, come on, man. It's like, there's just enough there to be just, just, it's plausible deniability, but barely so. And to someone like me, it's transparent. Whatever's going on here, the Internet Archive has to be in on it. Come on. There's no way they're not. That's what I think is really going on with the Internet Archive. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and all that crap. And tell me, if you have a different theory, put it down below. I really want to hear it. Because speculating about stuff like this may be the most fun that anyone can have on the Internet. It's like, it takes me back to the 90s when aliens and government conspiracies and all that, just theories ran wild, like Bigfoot was a big thing. You know, the show Sightings and UFOs and... And, you know, all this crazy stuff. And, and this kind of harkens back to that time. Like, we really have something interesting here. Let's think about what could be going on. Because when the human mind does not have information about something, it tends to run wild with speculation. And in this case, the speculation is very fun. So let's do it. Have a good one. Take care.